guys, so today I'm gonna go over a few easy tips and tricks when shooting with a light box. So you can see here that I've got my light box set up with my portable charger. It's turned on. This is uh, the macro frame medium light box. So it's 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches. And I've got about a, let's say five inch in diameter um, subject. So this is what I'm gonna do some demonstrations with. So we get a lot of questions about what to do about the two holes in either side of the box. And there's a few things that you can do. Um, in one video, I show you how you can remove them um, in editing and I'll link that below. And here, I'm just gonna show you an easy trick to kind of make them disappear. So your editing process um, or, you know, it just makes it a lot more seamless. So this is actually a really simple trick. Um, just when you're setting up the light box, you'll see that I have the white backdrop hanging in the back of the light box and all I'm gonna do is pull this forward and you'll see how they are much less visible um, you're getting more of a slope in the backdrop um, so you can't see the holes as much anymore thing that we get a lot of questions about is shadows from the lights so there is a light bar right here and I will suggest that when you are choosing what light box you would like, please look at what you're shooting. If you're taking images of something that is very small in a large light box, it's going to be really close to get close up to the subject without creating a shadow with your lens. Um, so it's really important that if you are shooting things like jewelry, that you stick to a smaller light box. Um, and then if you're doing anything larger, obviously you'll like the bigger light box. So avoiding shadows can be really easily helped just by putting your subject in the right place. So if my subject is up here, you'll notice that I'm getting more shadows on the sides right here and those are gonna come up a lot in one of my images. And then if it's too far back, I'm getting shadows now behind the subjects. So what you really wanna do is put it directly under. You're still gonna get some shadows, but they're not gonna come up as much in your images. And like I said, I linked below a video um, with how to edit white and black backdrops with even just your iPhone editor. So that'll help a lot. Just get rid of those things and then everything will just look nice, white and clean. My last suggestion is that you definitely shoot on a tripod if you have one or a steady ground. Um, if you don't have a tripod and you have to do it handheld, held, that's totally fine. Just please watch the settings on your camera. So you cannot shoot handheld unless you're really steady with anything under 1 1 60th of a second. Then you're going to start to get shakes in your images and um, they'll start to look a little bit more blurry. So that's my other suggestion. And those are just a few things that I think have really helped me when shooting with the light box. I really love the light box. I shoot all kinds of things with it. I shoot, um, you know, pottery, other pieces of artwork, my friend's jewelry that she makes. Um, so it's a really great thing to get those really nice product images when, um, you know, you're kind of struggling with that lighting and such. So I hope this video helped and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks guys.